Roxanne Farman Farmayan is a professor of Middle East politics and international relations at the University of Cambridge. Uh, welcome to the programme, Roxanne. Thank you for joining us. Uh, so we've seen uh, two significant events uh, really in the past 24 hours. The death of Hamas's political leader Ismail Haniyeh and Hezbollah's second in command in Beirut. Uh, what could this mean for the Middle East? Well, I think, first of all, it's very important to look at the timing. This follows immediately after Netanyahu, the prime minister of Israel's trip to uh, the United States, where he spoke to Congress and also to the president. So uh, clearly he obtained a uh, support and go ahead for his plans. And so I think this is a tactical approach that uh, I, is what probably Iran is looking at, that these are pinpoint attacks that are uh, fulfilling what Netanyahu has always said, which is the destruction of Hamas. But I think there is the larger picture from Iran's perspective that in many ways uh, follows what uh, U.S. Secretary of Defense Austin pointed out a couple of months ago, that uh, Israel really risks a strategic loss uh, in the longer term. The way that Hania was targeted in Iran uh, rather represents a, a breach of security for them, doesn't it? Does that affect the way that the country might respond? Oh, yes. And I think this was a humiliation on several fronts for Iran. First of all, it uh, clearly shows an intelligence failure, and this is after uh, the head of intelligence in Iran stepped down uh, with the change of president, and his statement was that they had dismantled uh, Israel's Mossad infiltration into Iran, which clearly is not the case. So uh, this is a huge humiliation from that end. Also, it was during the presidential uh, inauguration, so this was a political political statement that uh, really is very difficult for Iran to uh, accept without having some kind of retaliation, although it's made quite clear this will be, a, a, from its perspective, also an operations-oriented uh, retaliation, i.e. something that is pinpointed rather than full force. Hania himself had a big role in the ceasefire talks. Uh, what does his death mean for those? Well, I think this really puts the ceasefire uh, talks on ice. The Hamas establishment will replace uh, Haniyeh. They have several other uh, leaders that they can turn to, and uh, they always have, uh, but many of them are harder line. I think regardless of what perspective one views Haniyeh from, the fact of the matter was that he was a spokesman that could negotiate and did with uh, Qataris, with uh, U.S. representatives, with Egyptians, in trying to get the ceasefire and the hostages returned. And I think that is clearly not in uh, Netanyahu's top priority list to have a ceasefire or the return of the hostages because this will set it back. Roxanne, thank you very much indeed for joining us on the programme today. That's Professor Roxanne Farman-Farmayan from the University of Cambridge. Thank you.